Though I am an atheist, I often, in a particularly stressful situation, hear someone say, God is looking out for us and will provide a way. And I find that a comforting affirmation that there was no reason to despair. But what do I say as an objectivist? The best I can come up with is I tell people there is always a solution to any problem. Is that valid? No, because there is not always a solution uh, to uh, every problem. <clears throat> there may be uh, problems that we don't yet know the answer to, for instance, the cure uh, of cancer. There may be solutions that we know but can't implement because of other people, such as we know we're going in a desperate situation, but we can't solve it, uh, certainly not quickly because uh, uh, of the, the beliefs that are so, uh, so widespread. Then there's the question, what do you mean by a problem? We can solve any problem. One of the person's problem is to have his cake and eat it too. For instance, to have drugs but have no consequences from it. You can't solve that problem because it's a desire for a contradiction. So your statement that there's always a solution to any problem is very, very uh, uh, overstated if you take into account limited knowledge uh, within a society uh, and, and the difficulty even of having defined a consistent problem. Now, leaving that aside, you want a sentence that will comfort you. Uh, and of course, no sentence is going to do that. The sentence can only do that if it implies a whole philosophy. And then it's the philosophy that comforts you. Now, in the case of appealing to God taking care of you, the philosophy here is you be passive, you're helpless, you wait and see. And mind you, by your own definition, or the religious people's own definition, God is utterly unpredictable. Uh, he periodically visits the most horrendous catastrophes uh, on mankind, and uh, we have to accept. We have no idea what he's going to do. You know, this is called in philosophy the problem of evil. Why is an all-powerful, all-good God keep unleashing earthquakes, hurricanes, diseases at all? Now, if you can find comfort in that, uh, you, are, uh, you are beyond my understanding. Uh, to me, there can be no comfort except in the idea that we live in a world which makes it possible to uh, uh, achieve uh, our values if we use uh, our reason. Uh, we always have, no matter what the tragedy, reality and our self-esteem and our mind and ability uh, to, uh, to uh, go by it and solve whatever is possible and live with whatever is impossible unless we decide that what is involved is so horrendous that we don't uh, care to live. But we do not live in a magic universe where you wander around and wait for a good fairy to take care of things. So if you want a sentence, it would have to be something like, uh, I go by reality and I can deal with it, period. Which leaves open what you can do in this sentence, in this situation, but reaffirms your general efficacy uh, in life.